on it. Line up there. Latour is uh, going to go out there with Sachin Tendulkar again. A lot depends on Tendulkar. Sadu played very well last time round as well. Mandraka and Azradin. Hopefully, Mohamed Azradin will continue where he left off. Uh, Jadeja, Mongia, Javagal Shanath in there. Anil Kumbli, very important uh, when it comes to bowling. Ben Katesh, Prasad. And uh, the new player in the side, in fact, uh, taking the place of uh, the off spinner Kapoor is Venkapa. Raju. So he's in the side for India. South Africa, they've had a few changes. You can see there that uh, they'll miss Andrew Hudson a little bit. Uh, Callis is going in at number one. And Matthews, too, out of the side with a shoulder problem. He's a vital part of this lineup. And uh, Pat Simcox, too, with a, show, a, a toe problem. But you can see Macmillan's in the middle order, and uh, he's a very, very good player with that throw. change of pace and he's got a chance for a wicket here Gary Kirsten and a difficult catch well taken and Fani de Villiers has fooled Tendulkar with his change of pace oh that's got to be close got him RWW straightening down the line that's a very good outswinger that one straightened down the line and that is the end of Sadu LBW to the bowling of de Villiers for one and that's a lovely shot. He's showing the range all right. A beautiful shot past the bowler on the onside. Four runs. 36. And he's oh. it. That one straight to forward, short leg. Well, in fact, it's square leg. Well, in the air, straight to the field. So Callis has struck, and uh, that's a big blow. These two are just beginning to get things moving for India. So Mandraker caught by Kirsten off the bowling of Callis. Yeah, not quite getting uh, the shot right, Sanjay Manjreka. The length wasn't there. Looking to pull it over square leg. Can't keep it down. And Gary Kirsten again taking a second catch. But just when a partnership was about to develop, India lose another wicket. Manjreka gone, 72 for three. This is going to go over the top. I think it'll go all the way. One bounce for four. He got onto that one nicely. Right to it. Latching onto that one, takes his score to 41, India, 87 for three. Yeah! I'm asking the question, but, uh, oh, he wants a replay of it. Well, he's walking down to him as if to say we've got him. I reckon the South Africans think they've got him out. Well, this will be interesting. Is Mohammed Azraddin out stumped? Yes, moment he whipped off the bales, you saw Dave Richardson clapping there and uh, going up to Paul Adams. So this will be very interesting to see. As he plays this ball, does he just get that front foot in front of the line? Yes, he's out. He's out by about three inches. And no wonder Dave Richardson was uh, pretty happy. And India, against the run of play, lose their fourth wicket. 89 for four. Is he? Yes, he's out. He stood his ground, but uh, he's caught by Cronier at uh, cover 100 for five. Well, Vikram Rato not able to keep that ball down. Well, fighting delivery. He gets to the pitch of it. Uh, he hits a little bit under it and not rolling the wrist over. Ends up giving a simple catch to Hansi Cronier at uh, extra cover. It's a fine innings there by Vikram Rato, but he's gone and India are 100 for five. Oh, yes, got him. Yes, yes. Deciding to go over the top here is Nayan Mongia, not to the pitch of the ball. It's important if you are using your feet that you get to the pitch of the ball. He wasn't on this occasion. Scooped the ball up in the air, and the man running in from long off took a magnificent catch. Gary Kirsten has taken an excellent catch here. Mongi are not really uh, picking that delivery, looking to hit it over mid on. And Gary Kirsten covered a lot of territory, and that's well held because he was banging into the ground, but he managed to hold on to the ball. 140 for six. Right now, with a little over three overs to go, what India is looking for is another 20 runs on board. 
Well, that's smashed down the ground. That's a good shot. It's uh, going to be fielded on the fence by Cullis. In comes the throw. This will be close. Well, I think he's got him. Yes, they're going to ask for the replay. It'll be close one way or the other. That was brilliant fielding by Pollock. He came forward to take the ball in front of the stumps in order to, fr to save a frame or two. It'll be interesting to see whether he got that ball back in time. The South Africans have been practicing taking the ball in front of the stumps rather than taking it behind the stumps. Let's have a look, see where he stands here. He picks it up and he gets it there to the stumps and that's out. Off go those bales. They'll probably want to have another look at it. Very, very good take. Well, that's a very good take indeed. And uh, Anil Kumble not exactly the swiftest of movers. He was struggling a bit. Ajay Jareja knew he was going to the safer end. And uh, he should have maybe thought about the fact that Kumble, although enthusiastic, is not very quick. And he lumbers along a little bit, Kumble does. And that's taken a little ahead of the stumps, and I think, yes, Kumble has to go. Yes, there's no doubt about that. Now, that's very well taken by Pollock. Very well taken indeed. And uh, we're going to have to come back and explain the strategy by the South Africans. India won 78 for 7. hit this one it's going way over the top is it yes all the way yes a big six that's what played to Deja playing a little gem of a knockout there today lovely shot 13 off the over 191 for seven caught on the fence yes got him way down towards the boundary and that's a good catch Matthews down there very close to the line not easy to take those catches the wind swirling the ball around but he stayed cool Srinath yes, having another almighty heave this time he got the ball a little high on the bat more towards the splice of the bat and Matthews, who has taken some fine catches in this tournament, taking this one and making it look very simple. India 200 for eight. That's a reverse sweep. He's got that away too. That's very well done. Well, I've seen some reverse sweeps. That one was taken from outside the leg stuff. Another four. Well, I think this is one of the better reverse sweeps that I have seen. Went a bit up in the air, but he had decided even before the ball had been rolled. And that again shows that Ajay Jereja has a good cricketing brain. He knew that the ball would be fired at his leg stump, which would cramp him normally if he was playing a normal right-handed shot. So he employed the reverse sweep to very, very good use. Strike rate of 104. What a good knock this has been from Jadeja. Last ball. Down the leg side, he's got it away to fine leg. In comes Adams there. Oh, okay. And the throw is wide. Well, that's the end of the Indian innings. What a lovely knock that was by Tadeja. He's going. The left-hander. Oh, outside off stump, and that's into the gap. That'll go to the fence for four. It's running away down to the boundary. Well, he's hit a few to the fieldsman. He didn't make the mistake that time. And again, a similar shot, beautifully played off the back foot. Same direction, same result. Four more to Callis. Ah! A loud shout for a catch behind. Up goes the umpire's finger. So Kumle deceiving Gary Kirsten there outside the off stump, getting the edge. India pick up the much in so important wicket they needed. 85 for two, South Africa. Down the track comes Cullinan and goes over mid on. The ball landing just inside the fence and rolling over. So four runs to Cullinan. Once he crawled the air playing right across the line of that one. That was neither a sweep nor a clip over the top of mid wicket. It wasn't a very good shot at all. 08 0 if you're in uh, India. Well, that's well played. That's beautifully struck. 
Never tried to hit that one too hard. Down on one knee, and I think it probably just made it. That's up in the air. Sidhu trying to get under it, but it'll drop ahead of him and go over the fence for four. And that's going to be a six. What a lovely shot. Beautifully timed. Six more to South Africa. Kure and certainly up by Kitchen. Oh, he's bowled him. That's well bowled. That one just drifted on a bit. He tried to get that one away square. Perhaps a little optimistically. He's played pretty well. He was uh, just trying to push it into the gap on the offside. Oh, he's gone down the wicket and uh, had a go at that one. This is going to be out court. He's got him. Yes, he has. Well, Cullinan going down the wicket there, trying to hit that one way over the top. Coffee and it does it all for you. Oh, he's hit that one. That's gone way over the top. Yes, beautiful shot. Well, that was short and pulled away beautifully. In uh, previous one day at the Nationals. And uh, it's just popped around the corner. It was a rank full toss first ball. And Pollock will come back for the second. And the South Africa have won. So, a comprehensive victory again by the South Africans, despite the fact that they had to bat second on, uh, in conditions that actually slow up the day goes on. But another good victory, Sonny. Yes, a very professional performance once again. Uh, they have been very, very impressive in the, uh, in the preliminary stages of the tournament. They are now, uh, they were in the finals yesterday, but now they meet uh, India again in the finals on Friday. And India will really have to think of uh, something uh, more to test the South Africans.